Hello everyone. In this video, let us solve an example on finding the local maxima and local minima of a given function in a given interval. So here is our given function, which is f of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square minus x plus 3, which is a 3 degree polynomial. We have to find the local maxima and local minima in the closed interval 0, 3. Now, in order to find the critical points of f of x, we equate f dash of x to 0. And find the solutions of this equation f dash of x is equal to 0, which will be the critical points of this function f of x. Okay, so let us find f dash of x. f dash of x will be equal to 3x square minus 2 times 3x minus 1. This will be equal to 3x square minus 6x minus 1. So, equating to 0, we get a quadratic equation. So, let us recall from maths 1, if our quadratic equation is of form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, then the roots will be x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over b square minus 4ac divided by 2 a. So, if you see here, our a is 3 b is minus 6 and c is minus 1. Substituting these values here, we get the roots of this equation as x is equal to minus of minus 6 plus or minus root over minus 6 whole square minus 4 times 3 times minus 1 divided by 2 times 3. So, I simply substituted the values of a, b and c in this equation. So, simplifying this, we get 6 plus or minus root over, so this is minus 6 whole square 36. So, so, 4 times 3 times minus 1 is minus 12, so minus and minus plus 12, so 36 plus 12, 48 divided by 6. So, this can be further simplified to 6 plus or minus, so I can, this is 16 times 3, so I can write it as 4 root 3 by 6. So, this will be finally equal to 1 plus or minus 2 root 3 by 3. So, these are our two roots of this quadratic equation 3x square minus 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, these are the two points, these are the two critical points for the function f of x. Hence, the critical points of f of x are at uh, x is equal to my, 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 and x is equal to 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3. Okay. So, we have got two critical points and now finding f double dash of x and checking the sign whether it is positive or negative at these two points and finally classify them as local minima or local maxima depending upon the uh, sign which is positive or negative. Okay, let us find the f double dash of x here. f double dash of x will be 2 times 3x minus 6. So, f dash of x is 3x square minus 6x minus 1. So, differentiating with respect to x, we get 2 times of 3x minus 6, which is equal to 6x minus 6. Okay. Now, let us substitute these points and check the sign, whether it is positive or not. So, f double dash of 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 will be equal to 6 times 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 minus 6. So, expanding 6 plus 4 root 3 minus 6, 6 and minus 6 gets cancelled and 4 root 3. So, we get the value as 4 root 3 which is greater than 0. Hence, we can conclude that this point is a local minimum. Now, let us find f double dash of 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3 also. So, this will give us 6 times 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3 minus 6. It will be equal to 6 minus 4 root 3 minus 6 and 6 and minus 6 gets cancelled and this is minus 4 root 3 which is less than 0. Hence, this is local maximum. So, uh, recall that uh, f double dash of x is less than 0 then that, that point will be a local maxima. If f double dash of x is greater than 0 that point will be a local minimum. So far, so good, right? 
But here comes the tricky part. Are these two values which we have got as critical point 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 and 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3 present inside my interval 0 comma 3? Okay, my question is whether these two points lie in the given interval 0 comma 3. These two points 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 and 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3. These two critical points lie in the interval 0 comma 3. Because we are trying to find local minima and local maxima in the interval 0 comma 3. If these two points doesn't lie in the interval 0 comma 3, then these are not our required answers. So we have to find the local minima or local maxima in the interval 0 comma 3. So if these two points lie inside the interval 0 comma 3, then we are done. If not, then that will be a problem for us. Okay. Now let us check whether these two points lie in the interval 0 comma 3 or not. So if you are, we will check one by one. We will take 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3. So this is a positive real number. So this is definitely greater than 0. So obviously it will be, it will lie right side of 0. So it is enough to check whether this thing is 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 is less than 3 or not. Okay. Let's prove this. Let us take, let us start from here. Root 3 is less than 3. This we know, right? So if root 3 is less than 3, which implies root 3 by 3 will be less than 1. Right? Simply dividing 3 on both sides, we get this. And which implies multiply 2 on both sides. 2 root 3 by 3 is less than 2. Right? Now add 1 to the 1 on both sides. We get 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 will be less than 3. So that is what we have to find. So this 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 is less than 3. That means this 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 lie inside 0 comma 3. Okay. So one point we just found that that point lies inside the interval 0 comma 3. If the other point 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3 also lie in our interval, we are happy we are done. Okay, let us check that that one also. So if you see this 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3, this 2 root 3 by 3 is the real number which we are subtracting from 1. So this value will be less than 1, which obviously less than which will obviously be less than 3. So it is straight away we can see that this is less than 3. So it is sufficient to check 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3 is greater than 0 or Okay, let us assume this is greater than 0. Then, this implies that 1 is greater than 2 root 3 by 3, right? Which implies 3 is greater than 2 root 3. If you square on both sides, this implies 9 must be greater than or equal to 12. So, we got a contradiction. That means, this value 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3 is not greater than 0, it is actually less than 0. So, we are in a trouble now. Because this 1 minus 2 root 3 by 3, which is the local maxima we have found, does not lie in the interval 0 comma 3. Now, what should we do? Okay, I suggest you guys to pause the video and think how to find the local maxima of this given problem. Okay, let us say if a function f of x is given to us, in the restricted domain AB. Now, the maximum or the minimum value of this function f of x attains at critical points if those critical points lie in the interval a comma b or at points x is equal to a or x is equal to b, which are the endpoints of this interval or the boundary points of this interval. Okay, so think about this. This we can actually prove. But I am not doing this right now. You guys have to believe me on this. That if a function is given to us and we have restricted it, restricted the domain of this function to an interval a comma b, the maximum value or the minimum value of f of x attained either at critical points, if those critical points lie in the interval or at the boundary points or end points which are x is equal to a or x is equal to b. Okay, let us get back to our question. We have f of x as x cube minus 3x square minus x plus 3. 
and our interval is 0 comma 3. So from this uh, we have discussed the, the maximum value or the minimum value of this function in the interval 0 comma 3 attains at either at critical points or at x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 3. So the one critical point lies inside this interval 0 comma 3 which is x is equals to 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 which is local minima. So that will be say as it is which is this will be the local minima and the local maxima of this function will be at either x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 3. So let us calculate the values of both the values f of 0 and f of 3 we get f of 0 will be 0 plus 0 minus 0 minus 0 plus 3 which is 3 and this is 3 cube minus 3 cube minus 3 plus 3 which is 0. So f of 0 is 3 and f of 3 is 0. So we can conclude that f of 0 attains the maximum value. So x is equal to 0 will be the local maximum. Hence we have found the solution of our problem. So local maxima will be at point x is equal to 0 and local minima will be at the point x is equal to 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3. This is local minima and this is local maxima. So this is how we check and calculate the local minima and local maxima of any given function in a given interval a b. Okay? And we can observe that every time the local minima or local maxima will not attain at the critical point. So the given interval also depends. Okay? So finally, before closing this video, we will just look at the graph of this x cube minus 3x square minus x plus 3 in the interval 0 comma 3 and visually we will look at the maximum value and the minimum value. So if you see here, this is the graph f of x, x cube minus 3x square minus x plus 3. This is how the graph that represents f of x. So within the interval 0 comma 3, so see this is the interval 0 comma 3. If you see here 2.155. So if you see here 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 is 2.155. So this will be the local minimum value in the interval. And this is where the function attains maximum value in the interval 0, 3. Hence, within the given interval, we conclude that x is equals to 0 is the local maximum. And x is equals to 1 plus 2 root 3 by 3 is the local minimum. Thank you.